Did you notice your shirt has three of, like, the new Fantastic Four? I did not know that. There was a time, at, like, for comic book reasons, the Fantastic Four were gone or whatever, and it was those three plus... Um, uh, Ghost Rider. Si- oh, Ghost Rider, yes. Thank you. Uh, Ghost Rider. So, there you go. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining us on Me That Does. I'm here with physics programmer John Pritchett. How you doing, buddy? Doing great. Thanks again for coming on. Thank you. So, when did you get started with the project? Well, I guess it's been about a year and a half. I think November 2013, actually, if I put a date on it. Mm -hmm. How did you get into the industry? Well, let's see. um, Right out of college, uh, I took a job uh, writing fuel credit card systems for a company in Kansas City, uh, which was boring as heck. That does sound very boring. uh, (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I always wanted to do video games, but decided I wanted, uh, you know, I needed to get a real job, right? Yeah. Um, And one day when I was driving into work, I rear-ended some guy's minivan at a stoplight. (laughs) And it turned out he was a co-worker, and I'd never met him before, but, you know, I I started talking to him. It turns out he um, ran a bulletin board system Mm -hmm. out of the basement of this business. And uh, it was called Metropolis BBS, and uh, he was the author of a game called Trade Wars, mm-hmm. 2002. And uh, you know, after a while working with him, uh, he gave me the opportunity to take over working on his game, and so uh, I became kind of co-author of Trade Wars, and and uh, actually left that job probably a few months after that, and moved back in with my mom to write the new version of Trade Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that seems like a pretty rash decision. Yeah, well, I'm, I never regretted it. Seems to have paid off, right? Yes. So how'd you get from there to Star Citizen? Well, a lot of time in between, I guess. Um, but uh, in, you know, just before I came to work here, uh, I was working on a project, actually a, 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 a remake of Trade Wars uh, mm-hmm. with an, another company that I worked with in the past. And um, I got an email from someone who's uh, in the Trade Wars community mm-hmm. saying that um, Pete Mackey, who uh, was a designer here, had mentioned it, the game as an influence for him in the you know, development of the economy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, you know, I had never heard of the game. I didn't know anything about it, it as Star Citizen. Mm-hmm. So I went out and started looking into it and I was like, wow, this is a Chris Roberts game. This is amazing, you know. And uh, actually got into contact with, with Pete and was talking to him a little bit and found out that they were looking for a physics programmer and so I just had a crazy idea. You know, why don't I apply and see what happens, so. So you played like Chris's old games? I did. Uh, I definitely remember in uh, college, about 1991-ish, uh, you know, right after Wing Commander came out, uh, sitting there, you know, playing that game. I played the heck out of that game. And, uh, you know, just dreaming about what it'd be like to work on a game like this. And I actually, I think, um, thought about, you know, possibly applying at Origin, you know, because mm-hmm. this is something I really wanted to do. And obviously I didn't pursue that, but then you know, it never occurred to me that one day I might have that opportunity. You had a second chance and you took it. Yeah. <laughs> so what, besides the Chris Roberts effect, what drew you to Star Citizen? Well, mostly, uh, I think it was the opportunity to work with Mark Abent. <laughs> you being facetious? Yes, of course. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Mark's all right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know. No, I actually, I didn't. He's meet no, he's no John Mark Pritchett. Until I came you know? back, but uh, he's he's a great programmer. <laughs> yeah, no John Pritchett. So, no. Um, for me, you know, just the challenge and the opportunity to actually create, you know, the next generation of space simulator. That's that's something. It's just an amazing opportunity. So you've been here for a little over a year and a half. Yeah. Uh, from when you started to where it is now, what has been the biggest change? Well, the size of the company, definitely. Yeah. You know, I mean, when I first came here, I think there were like 20 people in this office and maybe 40 total in the company. I mean, I don't even know what we're up to now, but it's, it's a lot. just insane, right? Um, in terms of the project, I mean, those early days were nuts. I mean, we, we just had insane deadlines to meet to try to get the original Dogfighter demo out, you know? And uh, the crunch times were crazy. Mm-hmm. They're bad now, but not like that. Yeah, we're pretty big now. I mean, we even hired Disco, so we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. So, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, before we get you out of here, let's get some uh, rapid-fire questions. You ready? Sure. This is the important one. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Uh, 
uh, Star Wars. Have seen it. Have seen it. <laughs> Favorite video game? Uh, Cyber Sled. Hmm, never played that. Where's, uh, it's an arcade game. Oh, that makes sense. I like. I, I don't remember the arcades that much. Like, I remember going to like Chuck E. Cheese when I was a kid, but that was like the closest I ever got to arcades. Yeah. Uh, favorite ship in Star Citizen? Uh, Constellation. Why Constellation? Well, it was the first kind of big ship that we mm -hmm. did, and um, I think it was Ryan Church who did the design for it, and that was uh, really impressive to me that we were able to to work with him on that and. Um, I was the first person who got to fly the ship, so that was exciting. <laughs> when did you get to fly it? I think I think you just heard thousands of fans really upset <laughs> or jealous that you got to fly it first. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the the uh, constellation was in the game, and uh, Dan Tracy was was trying to tune it up and, mm -hmm. and get the, the thrusters ready to go, and and there was a bug because the mass, or I think it was the moment of inertia, was just too large for this ship. Uh, and so I was asked to debug that, and he ran, ran out to get a burger. And uh, while he was gone, I fixed it and just started tooling around in the <laughs> ship. So. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you again for coming on. Once again, I'm James Pugh. This is John Pritchett. And the dev's been met. Point at the camera. <laughs> Nailed it. That's bad. What are you talking about? It's the best one we've done so far. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> All right. All right.